Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Nene Leak situation. So if you guys do not know, she basically had some words for Andy Cohen today. So what went down is this. Andy Cohen was doing his show, Watch What Happens Live. And we see Eva Marcel on there. And as we all know, Eva, who Nene helped to get on the show, is basically, you know what I'm saying, co-signing and key keying Andy being shady towards Nene. And they're talking about how Nene wore the same dress, you know, like a season or so ago. And she's wearing it now in the confessional. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. By the way, one of Nene's confessional looks this year is the same dress she wore to our big doorbell show in L.A. where the strap broke. So I guess she fixed her strap, which we love. You know what? We just love our eagle-eyed researchers here. Why? Was that shady? Huh? Oh, my God. We, I, didn't, I didn't mean for that to be shady. You're just like me. I didn't mean to. But sometimes it comes out shady. Okay. All right. So you guys just saw that video. So basically, once the video went viral, NeNe Leakes definitely had some words for Andy Cohen. So this is what NeNe Leakes wrote that I posted on my Instagram. So NeNe Leakes says, can somebody tell me what was the point of this? Like, I don't get it. This was two years ago. I wore the dress once so I can sit in a confessional with it on. At Bravo Andy, how many times have you recycled your suits and ties? Hashtag pointless, hashtag messy. Why do you care? It's enough that the Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies come for each other. Now we have to worry about executives coming for us. No, I mean coming for me. It's not cool. Wasn't you interviewing those girls? What you mad about? Y'all stay coming for me, but as soon as I say or do something, I'm wrong. I don't appreciate it. That's all. So that's what Nene Leakes had to say. And y'all know I rock with Nene. She invited me to her Women's of Success brunch, and we had a good time. She was very cool, very down to earth. Now, I've been calling out Andy Cohen, okay? I've been calling him out for the messy little queen that he is. He loves to keep shit going, especially between black women, okay? So I've been calling out his mess for years, so I'm not shocked that he would sit there and start up all this shit while Eva was on the show. Another thing that really bothers me with this situation is I've also been calling this out for years. I talked about it in my live stream a few months ago. Well, I was very bothered by people feeling they had the right to, you know, talk about me wearing the same clothes. Like people would clown me because I'm in a picture and I'm wearing the same black shoes that I wore in, you know, a different picture in a different situation. Or, oh, you wore that shirt already. You wore that dress already. And like I said in my live stream, bitch, don't you rewear your stuff? Do we not all own washers and dryers to rewash our clothes and wear them? You know, I don't care if, even if I was a millionaire. I can wear my outfits more than once. I don't buy shit and then throw it away in the trash. You know, we've created this mentality in society that we can put celebrities on a certain pedestal that we wouldn't put ourselves in. So Nene's not supposed to wear a dress but one time. But yet and still, you and your family can wear the same, you know, rewash clothes over and over. What sense does that make? So I don't understand why Andy would do that. That wasn't cool at all. There's nothing wrong with we wearing your clothes. There's nothing wrong with wearing the same outfit you had on earlier in the month. Like, you know, why have we gotten to this mentality? And I blame a lot of this on Instagram as well. You know, everybody wants to put their best face forward. They want to put their perfect life out there. My perfect life is I have so many change of clothes that you can go through my Instagram for the next two years and you'll never catch me with the same outfit, the same shoes, the same handbags. Sorry, boo. I live in reality. You will catch me in the same shit every now and then. You will catch me with the same handbag every now and then. You will catch me in the same shoes every now and then. I don't give a flying fuck. I don't have to sit here and perpetrate and act like I own so much more than what other people have. And most of these people that y'all sit here and put on this pedestal and think they have so much, they're actually renting their clothes. They're actually borrowing stuff. They're borrowing their pieces. They're borrowing their handbags. They're borrowing their shoes. They're putting on a persona for the gram. And then when you really meet them and you go to their homes and you see how they're living, they're living just like me and you, okay? They wear their clothes over and over again, too. But unfortunately for social media, they feel like they can't post themselves in the same outfit or the same shirt or the same shoes because people will come at them. And this is why we're having an issue now called fast fashion. And I'm going to do a breakdown on that at another time. I'm still doing a lot of my research. But if you guys do not know, the fast fashion industry is basically polluting the world. It's causing a lot of problems in our ecosystem. 
And I'm about to drag this shit out of Fashion Nova in an upcoming video as well for how they try to play me during Black Friday. So I got a few videos coming up. Y'all better stay tuned. But this mentality is not cool. And this is why we have so much fast fashion and it's really affecting the world right now. It's affecting, when I say the world, not just people's mentalities, but the world that we live in. The dyes are getting into the river. They're killing the fish. They're killing the wildlife. But Andy Cohen is sitting here perpetuating that bullshit because Nene Leakes chose to wear a dress again. That's insane to me. We need to stop that mentality because you have a lot of these kids now who think like that. Like they can't wear the same clothes to school that they wore before. What the hell? When I was in school, I wore the same outfits at least a few times a week. I might wear this outfit on Monday and come Friday, I might wear it again. As long as it's washed and clean, that's all that matters. But it's really sad that as a grown man, he would perpetuate that. Like there's something wrong with wearing the same clothes over and over. You paid for it. If I want to wear my damn Balenciaga damn shoes till the damn uh, bottom of it falls off, I have every right to. You don't tell somebody they spend money on some shit they can only wear one time. What kind of mess is that? You can't tell somebody who done spent their money on something you're only allowed to wear it once because you're supposedly at this social status. We need to stop. I swear social media is really affecting people's mentalities and it's really affecting the world for the negative. As much as I love it, I have to call out the bullshit. And we need to stop with this. You can only wear something one time. If not, you're down here and I'm up here. That is so silly to me. What is the point of having a washer and dryer? What's the point of having a dry cleaner? That's because we're supposed to reuse our clothes and wear them over again. I'm not saying you have to wear the same damn clothes every day. But there's nothing wrong with her having wore that dress one time a few years ago and choosing to rewear it again in a confessional. How dare you, Andy? And that's all he does is throw rocks and hide his hands. And he has all these black women going back and forth and beefing with each other while he sits there looking pretty, getting a check. Ain't nobody investigating his lifestyle, but he's always throwing some extra tea and extra salt when it comes to these women. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Andy Cohen coming for NeNe and NeNe Leaks basically blasting his ass, you know what I'm saying, and coming right back at him. How do you guys feel about this situation? And do you agree with me that this mentality of you can only wear things one time is just horrible? And it's, you know, it's taking a toll on society. It's literally making these kids feel like they're nothing if they wear the same clothes over and over again, which is sad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right. Deuces.